Like I just said, we start with the result of Wednesday's presidential election in South Korea. In a nail-biter of a race, with ballots counted deep into the night, people in South Korea now know the identity of their next president, Yoon suk yeol The former prosecutor general will become the country's 20th president. He certainly will, despite a highly divisive, mud-slinging campaign as well. On top of that, the frustration at disillusionment and uncertainty many South Koreans feel about the direction the country is heading. Yoon beat his liberal rival Lee Jae-myung by the slimmest of margins and is now president-elect and will replace outgoing President Moon Jae-in in May. Our Kim bo kyung starts us off. The People Power Party's Yoon suk so That is who people chose to be the country's 20th president. On Thursday morning at 6.20 a.m., with all the votes counted, Yoon was declared the winner of the election after getting around 60,394,000 votes, 48.56 percent of the total. After winning by the finest margin in South Korea's constitutional history, a race even tighter than the 15th presidential election in 1997, where the gap was just 1.53 percentage points, Yoon expressed gratitude at the campaign's headquarters saying his win is the people's victory while also emphasizing unity. I have learned a lot, what is needed to be a country's leader and how one should listen to people's voices. The election is all for the people. Now that our competition is over, we need to get together and be one for our people and country. On stage in front of the party's headquarters, he stressed that people need to be treated fairly regardless of region, status and political stance and promised a better future. I will always have liberal democracy and the spirit of constitution in mind, take care of public welfare, always consider welfare for those in need, and do my best for South Korea to show national dignity, solidarity of responsibility, and freedom in international society. Through Yoon's win, the Conservative Party brought about a change of regime after five years of Democratic Party rule. This brought an end to the trend of one camp seizing power for 10 years ever since the direct presidential election system was introduced in 1987. Yoon suk yeol has become South Korea's 20th president a year after he stepped down from his role as the prosecutor general last March. He became the very first former prosecutor to be elected as president and the first president without any congressional experience. Kim bo Arirang News.